all right this is a word guessing game created with html css and javascript let me show you what it does so on refresh or you can see a click on reset the question is being asked in the form of hint a musical instrument a planet of solar system i know it's venus so s i am typing it in a back way so if i type the wrong letter let's say x so the wrong letter is x you have pressed the wrong letter and the guesses left is zero and if i type the wrong letter again if i say p it says game over and it the whole answer shows up if i click reset again and i'm purposely making it wrong one more time the file format is png if i type n actually it's gif i guess g i i'm purposely making it x so you'll see game over and the whole answer shows up a country name india all right let us start creating this with the help of html and css for the very first thing we need is a html file i'm going to do it as demo.html the name you can give anything but i'm you need to stick with the uh, extension which is .html so demo.html taking some time I think it got saved somewhere if it doesn't you can click control n control s demo dot html cool it got saved the same way you just need one more file which is css file problem with my keyboard demo dot css add a script file control n again control s demo demo dot js cool let me just explain the html for you so we have a main container called wrapper so you can see this gray box is simply but a wrapper inside the wrapper we have an h1 and a content which holds all these text boxes the hint section and the section which is below now in the content we have three children's inputs you can see these boxes are called our inputs and then we have details this details include this hint section wrong letters and guessing left and finally the reset button so if you see in the inputs we have some inputs field you can see these are the input fields and then we have details inside the details we have hint so you can see it's in the class with hint and uh, inside the paragraph we have a span tag that helps you to separate separate the hint i have added the font weight 700 and the rest is 500 so you can see this will be dynamically changed with the help of javascript the same way we have a sub details div so the reason for having it in the div, div is because we can have the content placing left and right or else it would be in the same flow as of the hint that's why we have placed it in the container called subdetails. The sub subdetails hold again the same HTML structure, paragraph and span, uh, with class wrong and with class guess. And finally, we have a reset button. Now, on the style sheet, <coughs> let me just copy this. Control Z copy this and paste it in our HTML and for the style sheet we'll be creating it line by line so just to grab I have a HTML hierarchy let me see what is causing the issue to start we need the CDN 
till the HTML hierarchy and just paste it in our demo.css so if you notice something is wrong we have not copied the a delete that's the reason cool this is the font called poppins it has font weight 300 500 and 600 and 700 for all element we have removed the margin and padding and made the box sizing border box and for all the element i have made the font family as poppins now let's just remove the comment and start working with the hierarchy so without html so without css let me just show you how our html looks like we have named it as demo so just click on demo.html if your html is saved you will see the html content you are seeing the html content with css the reason is we have not linked our css so this is our this is how it looks like without css so let's just start applying the css now so for the first time we need body for the body we have the background color as black so if you see background is black and for all the content let's just make the color we don't have to make that so just inverse it for the container background black and background for the wrapper is going to be let's just make white so that we see some con contrast between the background and foreground now we have to give fit 500 pixel to break it as a inline element now it's inline element now whatever is there inside the body we want it to place at the center so display flex display what's wrong with my keyboard display flex align item center justify content center in order for the align item and justify content to work we want to make the width as 100% of viewport width and height as 100% of viewport height now it would be at the center now for the wrapper to have some padding let's have padding of 20 pixel on all sides and uh, we can design the input field now get the input field and make display flex align item center justify content center and for the input field let's have the width and height width of 60 pixel and height of 60 pixel now let's just add a padding or a margin inside the wrapper we have h1 as well let's just give margin top bottom 20 pixel left right 0 whatever is there let it let that be text align center now let's give background color as black for the input field you can change the shade or tint according to your need i'm just keeping this as it is i think it's too much cool let's just have the font size for the input field as 25 pixel and uh, text align center and uh, text transform uppercase so that it aligns at the center and the text transform is uppercase we can give margin for all the sides as 4 pixel cool we can again give margin to the input field so that we get some space margin bottom 20 pixel now for the hint so let ha let's have the sub details so the sub details have margin of top bottom 20 pixel left right 0 and let's have the hint to have font weight of 700 
and the span inside the hint should have font weight of 500 and uh, we can give background color black ok we can play with the background color of wrapper as well let's just not make it exactly white now this could be white and let's add padding 10 pixel on all sides and the for the sub details let's have display flex and justify content space between so that we get some space between the wrong letters and guessing just left and for the button it's a class width of 100 percentage padding of 10 pixel font size of 18 pixel background black and color as white and uh, we can have font or we can have cursor as pointer so as I hover you will see the point cursor changes to pointer so that's enough for the CSS let's jump into the JavaScript now if you want to play with the color I'll leave it to you here we have color hint on co slash palette if you like any color palette you can use it in your project so I would like to keep my UI clean distractionless so I am sticking with black and white alright now let's work on the JavaScript so if you see as I click here just note just note, just note the hint and the number of input field so you can see based on the answer on the right side on the console you will see the answer of famous uh, yellow precious metal gold PNG or uh, image file format PNG so three 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 word sorry three letters so three input field four letters so four input field so that's what we are going to create now so for the first thing we just need to have a word.js file which will hold the hint and the answer so you can see I have stored a array so this array has a collection of object so object is a key value pair the key is word and the value is python again the key is hint the value is programming language the hint will be shown in the box and the word will be displayed the word uh, will be displayed uh, also you will see the number of letters in the word is will be equal to the randomly uh, generated input field I hope that is clear let's just create our demo dot j actually it's already created if, I, if you notice here now we just have to link on our demo dot html file don't save this demo dot html just link our word dot js and demo dot js cool now in the demo dot js we are going to create a random number so this is episode number 91 I hope you would know how to create random number because we would be using it for every previous episodes now uh, let's create a function call a random word so this is the function we will be calling it let's just define the function so we need a random word so for for now let's just let me just show you why we are calling the random number on the console you'll see console dot log we are passing a it's an array we can pass index number here so this is 2 and uh, 2 dot word 2 dot hint so if I refresh this is the whole object and this is the answer and this is the hint the same way on each refresh you are just getting the single value if I make this 5 you will see the fifth value here Amazon and this the reason for creating random number I hope you got cleared because we need on each click on each button click we need a random value so let's just 
call the button also document dot query selector button store it into a button on click king the button button dot add event listener which is click just call the function now if I click you'll see the value getting displayed so I hope this is clear let's just comment this and let's create a random value a random hint and it's going to be math dot floor math dot random multiply by the array word list dot length now this is going to be a random number console dot log let's just insert so you get a random value now we need to pass this random value into the array which is word list now you will get the array you see now we don't need this reset this so we get two values the first one is hint word and then the answer cool how to get this random dot hint and then word now we just have to display them on the relevant place hint span and then we have we'll be creating a html so let's just fill this on hint hint dot in our text refresh it in our text is not defined because it's a class so you'll see on each click you are getting the hint getting changed now based on the uh, answer we want the input field let's just create a for a variable i equal to 0 i should be less than answer word dot length then increment the i so let's just call the input container and we use the inputs so input container will hold all the inputs so here input container dot in our html equal to the html which we will be adding so based on the count we just need to add the html as of now let's just comment this because on click we'll be generating it randomly so based on the length of the answer you will get the input field now we need to append it so find that's done let's set this reset it's plus equal to i believe HTML is not defined. Let's just define the HTML here. Three letter word. It's better to have this event called by default because on page load it doesn't look blank. So coding is C O D I N G. Reset again. GIF Python P Y T H O N. Okay island aim cool it's working as we thought 
now let's just show if there is any right input found refresh now it's a chess let's just type h so you can see c h e s s so e remove this and c again and s and e refresh this programming language n you can see n goes at the place and then let's type t and you can see p h y t so let's create this now for that we need to create a input field and give it a class and a max length so let's just give input not here but let's have it over here and uh, what we can have here is max length is equal to 1 refresh this now you will be able to type only one letter at a time cool now let's just get that in our demo.html and uh, let's just make the answer as a global variable so we can just assign it over here instead of assigning into a scope of a function now it's global we can access anywhere now we need to initialize a game so whenever there is a key is focused let me just on a document whenever you key down just focus on the typed input field I hope you have called the typed input field no not yet typed it's a typed input now use a callback function and focus it now refresh this one whatever I type it would be focused on the input field cool the same way uh, when I insert some value on the input field just initialize the game cool markup language for HTML now whenever I type we can get the key value over here with the uh, now we can so the key e dot target dot value so now we have the key here console dot log so if I type anything you will get in the console now we need to match it with the answer so we need to find the value if this word includes in C L U D E S includes our key then there is a match is found or else no match is found so let's type so if I type some random word you won't get so I think I have removed the answer that's why we are not able to get it so we need that answer console dot log the answer word now it's photo type O if I type X remove it and type X you won't see anything because only the correct value will show up now we need to display it over here so in that case we need to check if our answer word uh, for that we need a for loop for for variable i equal to zero i is less than our answer word dot length then i plus plus here we need to check if 
the answer keyword we are going to check the loop with the help of loop we are going to check the answer word you can press i and uh, you can have console dot log just to see refresh it line number 24 If I type H, then only you'll be able to loop, or else HTML. So HTML, you got it. So we are going to check again if this equals our key, then it's right. And now we have our input field already here. Input tag, so not input tag, uh, image tag. I think image tag is yeah. Input tag is here. So this is the input container. Input container holds all the inputs. So now if you understand HTML, so the first place is for H, the second place is for T, the third place is for M, fourth place is for L. So the same way we can have query selector all and uh, it's a input. We can access it with the index number. So index number is going to be I. So the key where it matches, if I press H, so H ma will match the first one. If I press L, the L will match as the last one. Then include the value and append it to key. Refresh it. If I type G, you see G is in two place and you got it. The same way, refresh it. If I type L, actually it's rain. If I type N O O T, so I have to explain. Let's just show the wrong values to be appended here. Now, related to its email, let's type X. So you can see the wrong letter X shows up. If I type I, if I type P, if I type P again, I am typing P again, but it's not showing up. If I type X again, it won't show up. Let's just work on that. E M A I L. Fine. So for that, let's just call the wrong input span. So I have called here. It's a wrong input span, and we need an array called incorrect. And as I type the wrong value, we need to push it on the incorrect array, the keys. So we need a space. So that's why space dollar key. Then we need to push the array's value into the wrong span. Just after our code, wrong span dot uh, in our text equal to our array. Now, if you see on first click get the input field value since we have a max length of 1 we would be able to type only once so dot value equal to nothing so now we would we can type multiple times if I type X you can see X shows up if I type X again X again shows up X again X again shows up if I type O if I type E if I type L if I type X again, X again shows up. We need to stop this. To stop this, we need to compare it with our incorrect array. So here again, we need to have a if statement. Just as we made this for here, the same. Add it here and don't forget to close. And here we will be matching it with our array. space with our key so now we won't be able to type multiple times now it's jpeg if i type x again x not shows up so this should come outside of the array this island click x again x x x actually x should be displayed as a wrong but it's not showing up let me see why I'm sorry, it should be inside our function and uh, 
let's just check for the nesting. And if it includes, it's not. That's the reason we could not get. So it's MySQL if I type X multiple times, only one time shows up. Y would be placed if I type X again. If I, Q, if I press Q, if I press L, if I press X again, and anything other than my S. Now let's just work on game over button. Game over and uh, the guesses. Now if I type X, so you can see there is only one guess left and the wrong wrong letter is showing off here and if I click Y again I know it's cold but if I click Y again you'll see it says game over and all the answers shows up and uh, you can see guess lefts are 0 and X when Y are the letters that you pressed and click on reset the same with the famous search engine is Google and this is right and image format is JPEG let's click Y wrong letter X wrong letter and it says game over cool let's just work on that now the first thing that we are going to do is the guest letters so we have a span with class guess so guest span and we need to create a letter I'm sorry for that guess count should be low and now on the function as I click I'm sorry for that it should be like 8 guess count you can make this 2 So on refresh, the guess count will be the guess what we have defined here. As you can see on refresh it's 2. On each wrong, we need to decrement it and we need to display the value. We are decrementing and displaying the value and uh, once it reaches less than one then we need to show the alert saying that game over and we need to display all the values so let's just say if the guest count reaches to zero less than one in that case we need to show all the values you can show this for loop and here we don't need to check we just need to display all the output the answer word to the relevant input field if I type refresh plant in solar system it's Venus type here e e n u if I type x so guess count is 1 if I type y it says game over and all the content got filled if I click refresh you'll see the X and Y stays there so we need to do that on clicking the button on clicking the button the this is getting triggered here we need to do two things the first one is we need to take care of guess count sorry not guess count but the wrong input field over here at the bottom wrong input field to nothing and then we need to make the array as none so making the array blank so refresh it you know it's guitar so press x and press y it's game over and you would see all the values and x y shows up game clip zero now if i click on reset again you should see this should go out so let's type uh, so the answer is P and G if I type X and if I type Y if I type Y if I type X cool 
so that's what we need now we need to hide this input field by giving this select this guy and we can give position absolute z index minus triple nine just call this into our CSS which is demo.css on the typed input field class and now that's gone 